Hello everybody, this is Matt from TopRBs. Uh, excuse me, TopRBsMN.blogspot.com. So our one carniolan hive died, uh, but we were able to get this nuke, five frame nuke in our cardboard box here. Where's the end? There's the end, the little lady's trying to get out. Um, the problem is that it's the Langstroth five frame nuke and we have Wari hives, so we made this transition box. It's basically the five frame nuke box from Dan Coates, and I'll put those um, a link to those plans online, except we made it wide enough. We just made it extra wide so it's the same width as our Wari box. So it's you can see the Wari frames there. We'll put five Langstroth frames in with bees. I made these extra frames here uh, with Wari frames and then wood on the side so they don't build comb there. So if they start building comb right here, if they expand sideways instead of down, then um, I can take those worry frames off and move them to the lower box to try to get them to keep going down and then put a, a dummy board in here to not let them expand sideways anymore. So we're going to move those Langstroth frames into this box and hopefully hopefully they'll move down into our worry box. We'll be able to add just the regular worry roof and quilt and everything to that. Uh, we'll do it in just a minute here. I'm just going to smoke them a little bit at the entrance here because this is... Loops are established hives. So, what does it mean established? I mean, the, the hives are already going. It's, it's not, not like a package. Not, it's not a pack like we got, but the hives already yeah. got, it's got comb built and everything like that. It's just food. Oh. Is it? Yeah, I have that. fields and things because they want to know where their hive is so that they can come back to it. Okay. So they're just flying around in circles. You can see pollen in there. Mom, you want to come why is closer that a little black bit? Comb? Daddy, why is it black? It's old comb. You see oh. the pollen in there, guys? That orange and yellow mm -hmm. in there? So this is this is going to be not brood. This is not going to be where the queen is. Daddy? Oh wow, I didn't know there was that much fun. Pollen Are they gonna there. take apart the old comb? Can I see that? See? Are they gonna take apart the old comb? Yeah. So if we did this right, this should. They're. Okay. Oh, excuse me, sit down right there. They're... If you did it right, this should fit. Right? Right? That. Don't, don't, don't. don't. They're, they're very calm right now. So. Yeah. Luckily, they won't Daddy? backfire again. Mm -hmm. Are they going to take apart the old comb? And what's that stuff? Is it propolis? What? I sniffled. Hmm? My nose is running. I sniffled. Can Grandpa sniffle? Hey, Grandpa gets sniffles too. <coughs> Sorry, what? James. One of them is stuck. I'll take it. One of them is stuck on sugar water. Yeah. Oh, they're stuck in a shit. Can I smoke them? Please, please. Brush. Activate. Oh. Are they going to try to go into that hive and sting each other? They won't sting each other. If they do, then the hives will attack each other. Okay, so here's cat. There's some larvae. You can see the larvae in there. Oh, wow. Do you see the babies? Oh yeah, I the see. Light, I mean. Look inside; they look like white millipedes or tiny, tiny white worms. Mm -hmm. See hey. right there. Yeah. So we want to try to find the queen. And some of them are sticking in their um abdomen out. I see a drone. Where? See, it has less colored stripes. It's like black and white. Black or maybe and white. it's not a drone. Maybe the bees are just old. Maybe it's a million years. I think I see one trying to... No. What do you think it was trying to do? Sting its I think it's trying to come out. There's see? some honey there that's not capped yet. 
Where is the honey? The liquid? You see the liquid in the middle there? Yeah, it's I see. It's honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see the queen. No, don't touch it. Okay. I don't see the queen on this one. So the queen's not on the floor. So. These so are really there. calm. I wonder why. So there's the yeah. other carnelians we got seem to be calm. Yeah, one of them stung me. No, that was the Italian just stung me. Guys, how can you tell the difference between the two Because one speaks Italian and the other one doesn't? Hmm. <laughs> Except the other one definitely doesn't speak English. Where? Yeah, she, she said it's not as brittle as the stuff that lasts in the What is that, man? It's kind of gummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wax, I think. It's more like chewing gum. Yeah. Wax. It got squished up a little oh, bit. Yeah. It's not as brittle as over the winter. Okay, hopefully the queen's on one of these next two. The it's like ones. gummy. I'm going to give them some wax. No, don't you dare give them some wax. Daddy? Hmm. How can you tell the queen? Well, she's be longer. I think I see. Wait. That one's longer. It might just be brown. No, yeah, it's not. What are those ones that are sticking out? Oh, those are the ones I saw on the others, too. Right, that's probably that one. Speak Italian, the other doesn't. It's not like you gotta make sure the queen's there, is that it? No, I just wanted to, s we don't have frames in ours to look, so. And it'd be cool if we see the queen. <laughs> I mean, we saw the queen and the other one in the cage, but. Mom, well, I creepy crawlies. <laughs> it's funny that they tickle, but you don't tickle you when they walk on you, but you don't want to scream at you. Hey, I actually started some notebooks. Put it in front of the smoker. It's gonna fly. Stop it. Hey, guys, don't tease each other around this because if you fall, you fall right into the bees. Guess what will happen? Yep. Big oh, time. Yeah, if you fall in here, they'll sting you. Yeah, then they think they're going there's to die. There's more pollen, there's more brood. You see the little, they look like little larvae down there at the bottom? Yeah, they look like these white millipedes. See? Some of them aren't as fat and not as white. Well, we're not I've seen make... the upper left hand corner. Look upper left? Yeah. Upper Brood left. Brood and honey. Oh, the one honey. that's okay. sticking out. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of sticking out. Yeah, its head is in there. It's probably feeding it. Yeah, it's probably feeding and tending to it. I'm Sorry, you can go inside if you want. Where is he? I haven't seen the queen. No, I'm talking about him. And if you want to see the queen, say she. Yep. If I say Guys, stop, 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 stop. That is way too much smoke, guys. I'm not smoking it, I'm just holding the wax in front of it. Oh, something got on my nose. So I hope it's not a bee. No, it's not. Why are you cleaning that? Oh. Are you cleaning this now? <laughs> oh, sticking your nose. Oh, man. This one's harder to clean than the other one. It'll help one's me out, William. This more honey and pollen. Yeah. This one's not It'll help brood. me out, William. So hopefully the queen was on one of the other ones. 
all. You just brush them into them, right? Mm -hmm. You just brush them into it. Yeah, I'll just dump the rest in. This I just one wish is I too crowded with bees. I wish I would have seen her. It would have been fun. Daddy, do you think there's any drones in here? Yeah, yeah. Cause I no, please help me. Okay, is that it? Well, I'm gonna put these empty ones in. <laughs> and then are you gonna put the roof on? Mm -hmm. Then are you gonna put the roof on? Yeah. Okay. So you're giving your mom. Are they trying to eat that honey? How about that? Oh, I thought that was bees. Bees that are soaked in the honey and they're dead pretty much. Yeah, so oh, bees. okay. There's a few bees here. There's a few live ones here. Yeah, I don't really want to. I'll just, why don't we just set them up here? I don't want to dump them. Well. All right, so here is our, well here, we'll show this one first. This is now the five frame nuke <clears throat> that was in that box. It's now inside of this box. Five frames, right? Like one, two, three, four, five. Then there's an empty frame here, two empty frames there. Um, that I modified to hold a Ware um, top bar. So if they start expanding sideways, we can take those Ware frames and move them down to this box. But ideally, they'll move down into this box. We'll just see how it goes. Um, and then once once we get them to, in the Ware boxes, we can take take this one off and harvest the honey from there. This is our established, oh, and those are carniolans, which is what we had that had died, actually, so back to a hive of carniolans and a hive of Italians. This is our Italian hive that we're doing more the Japanese style with the worry boxes, so there's the first box, pretty much filled up. And then down here, let me see if I can shade that, there are the bees coming down into the second box, which we never got them to do last year at all. They, when we had the eight worry bars across the top, they thought it was the bottom of the hive and they never moved down into the second box. So this one I've just got two worry hives parallel with the frames above and then two crossbars perpendicular right there just to give it support as it goes down. So hopefully they'll just keep moving right on down. We've got one box full, this one they're moving into, and then two more 
empty boxes that hopefully they'll they'll fill up those for this year and have a strong hive going into the winter. That one, since it's the nuke, um, it's got honey, larva, um, brood, laying queen. We didn't find the queen, but I'm not very good at doing that yet. Um, hopefully they'll they'll take off too, and um, if we can get them to move into those worry boxes, hopefully we'll get them all filled filled out and ready to overwinter also. There are the wild plum trees that just started blooming. Plenty of nectar flow for them. So there are our two hives. Talk to you guys later.